cybersecurity at Bergen. What is fishing? Fishing? Like what you do with the pole? I went fishing when I was a kid. Fishing? The last time I went fishing, I caught a cold. I don't know. What is phishing? Phishing is a scam by which an email user is tricked into revealing personal or confidential information. The greatest danger is identity theft. Identity theft could lead to illicit use of your credit card, loss of funds from your account, and other accounts set up in your name, unbeknownst to you. Many times, a victim's credit rating will be adversely affected, and in some cases, have to bear the burden of proof that they didn't participate in the illicit transaction. You want to say something about spear phishing. <laughs> what is spear phishing? Spear phishing attacks specific individuals or companies in the guise of a legitimate transaction. For example, someone pretending to be your boss asks for an account code. This technique is by far the most successful on the internet today, accounting for 91% of attacks. How can you protect yourself from phishing? Number one, be aware of your online presence. A scammer can find your email address and a list of your friends by simply scanning your Facebook profile. They can find out where you live, where you hang out, where you work, where you go to school, and even your favorite foods, simply by scanning your posts and photos. Any of this information can be used to trick you into believing you are receiving a legitimate request in an email. Number two, keep your secrets secret. For instance, it might appear your best friend is asking to borrow your Amazon Prime account. As much as you would love to help, email is not the vehicle for sensitive or confidential information, ever. Call your friend and ask them if they sent you the request. But whatever you do, don't respond in an email. Number three, be smart. Remember, no legitimate business will ever ask for your password or confidential information in an email. Never give out confidential information online. Yes, it's password. So what's your password? I will never tell my password. Passwords are now a part of life. They not only protect your computer from unwanted users, but they guard your email, bank accounts, credit cards, and any other web service from fraudulent use. The theft of a password can lead to devastating consequences, from email hacking, to fake charges on your credit card, to identity theft, to a complete wipeout of your bank account funds. The best password is a strong password, using a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Never use your personal information in your password, like an account number or PIN, and never use your birthday. You should also use different passwords for different sites and change them often. If you have trouble remembering your password, try a catchphrase that is easy to remember, but would only have meaning to you. For instance, the monitor is cracked, or my cable is out. Also, make sure you add a character and a number to it. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is blab. <laughs> now don't look at me, I didn't give you the word. Right. Of course, the strongest password is a password that is secret. Never tell your password to anyone. Never write it on a sticky pad in your office or on your computer. And never send your password in an email. What do you do when you get an attachment? Like a tick? The number one avenue of virus and malware infections is an email attachment. The bad guys know that most people will open an attachment if the sender appears to be a trusted entity or friend. Using the same tactics as phishing, a bad actor can craft an email with a malicious attachment with the intention of infecting your computer. This infection can steal information, damage your computer, lock your files, and even demand ransom. How do you protect yourself from attachments? Number one, do not open attachments you didn't expect to receive. This also includes links. If you receive an email with an attachment saying, please see attached invoice when you are not expecting one, don't open it or click on the link. If you know the party who sent it, call them. If you don't, report the email to ITS and delete without opening the attachment or clicking the link. Number two, don't send attachments that the recipient isn't expecting. Please adopt the practice of letting people know when you will be sending them an attachment. And now for the bonus topic, pie. No, 
Not that kind of pie. Personally identifiable information, also known as PII. This is any information that can be used to distinguish you from someone else. Examples are social security numbers, credit cards, medical records, biographical information, and other unique identifiers. When this information is stolen, it makes it much easier for the bad guys to be successful in their phishing, email, or attachment scams. One of our mandates as professionals in higher education is to protect the PII of our colleagues and students. In addition to what we have discussed, here are some ways you can protect your slice of the college's pie. Number one, never email confidential or sensitive information, including PII. Number two, be aware of what you print and where you leave it. When you create and print reports containing PII, think hard about what you actually need. When disposing of printed data containing PII, please make sure to use the appropriate receptacle for shredding. Number three, never leave your computer screen unattended. If you leave a document open containing PII or have access to data containing PII, an unlocked computer screen could allow an unauthorized person access to this sensitive and critical information. Always lock your screen before leaving your station. Cybersecurity is of the utmost importance for you, for Bergen, and for the world. In fact, it is estimated that cybercrimes cost the global economy $400 billion per year. Don't be a victim. Thank you for watching our video on cybersecurity. We wish you all a safe and secure cyber experience.